in this video we are going to discuss about logical effort logical effort of a gate is defined as the ratio of input capacitance of the gate to the input capacitance of an inverter that can deliver the same output current equivalently logical effort g which indicates how much worse a gate is at producing the output current as compared to an inverter given that each input of the gate may only present as much as input capacitance as the inverter logical effort can be measured in simulation from delay versus fan out plot as the ratio of the slope of the delay of the gate to the slope of the delay of an inverter <coughs> so first let's see about the inverter uh, so here uh, for n mass i am given uh, the w by l ratio as 1 so if it is 1 means uh, you have to consider the p mass as 2 okay mm, because w by l of p is equal to 2 times the w by l of m so if n mass is 1 means you have to take p mass as 2 so both are connected to a so the input capacitance is 2 plus 1 is 3 okay so here the input capacitance of the so what the logic uh, logical effort of the gate represent here the logical effort of the inverter okay so it is defined as the ratio of the input capacitance of the inverter to the input capacitance of the inverter so both get cancel you will get the value as 1 so similarly for nand gate see for nand gate so you know that um, Uh, in order to get a dot b, you have to connect the n mass in series. If the n mass is connected in series, means you have to add this one. So one plus one is two. Okay, since two transistors there, which is connected in series, you have to take each transistor as two two. Okay. So here the p mass is connected in parallel. So what is the whatever the value in p mass, you have to retain that same value. Okay. so the simple formula for uh, nand gate uh, for two input nand gate this is two input nand gate the formula is g is equal to n plus 2 divided by 3 so here it is two input so 2 plus 2 is 4 so 4 by 3 so <coughs> if you can see you know, what is the value of ga ga is both connected to 2 2 and 2 okay so value is 4 by 3 for Uh, gb also it is 4 by 3 okay 4 is a value of uh, a nand gate and uh, 3 is a value of uh, input capacitance of a inverter right input capacitance of the inverter that is 4 by 3 so if you take a average you will get uh, g is equal to 4 by 3 okay so if suppose uh, i am connecting a 3 input nand gate means 5 by 3 okay answer so similarly for nor gate nor gate is you have to connect the n mass in parallel and p mass in series so since it is connected in parallel you have to retain the same value since it is in series you have to add this value 2 plus 2 is 4 so uh, a and b is 4 4 okay so if the input capacitance of ga is 4 by 3 okay input capacitance of uh, g, um, uh, nor gate is for ga it is 4 5 5 by 3 and for uh, gb it is 5 by 3 okay 4 plus 1 is 5 5 divided by 3 so average value is 5 divided by 3 ga plus gb divided by 2 so we will get 5 by 3 the simple formula is 2n plus 1 divided by 3 since it is a two input uh, nor gate 4 plus 1 divided by 3 that is 5 by 3 okay so suppose uh, if i want to calculate for xr gate okay so what they are telling is uh, you have to put uh, 4 by 3 times the effort of the inverter in order to um, for the nand gate okay that is what uh, it is telling so for uh, xr gate um, you know the formula for xr gate uh, a bar b bar plus a b the whole bar so you have to connect this one in series so series means you have to take two right Uh, 2 2 so if i calculate um, for uh, ga and gb and all you will get um, the input capacitance value as uh, 12 12 by 3 okay so usually uh, the denominator denominator value is always same okay so if we calculate for um, uh, a alone that is a Uh, you will get um, four as answer. 